A lot of changes for the Cadillac brand of General Motors with the New York headquarters. What's the strategy? What's been going on with the brand? Well, with Cadillac, you know, we continue on this journey of bringing Cadillac to the uh, pinnacle of premium. And we're doing that with, we've had two great launches of the new XT5 this year, the CT6. And as you can see behind us here uh, off camera is the Scala concept. So this gives everybody a hint of the future direction of Cadillac. But Cadillac has a very well-defined plan for the next five years. And really, these are the beginning steps of what's going to be a great journey for Cadillac. Now, i got to be cautious here asking you about your boss, Johan Donation, who I've known for a long time. And, of course, we know at Infinity that he changed the nomenclature where everything begins with Q. And there's a little bit of hint of that coming at Cadillac. Well, you know, as Cadillac goes back to the pinnacle premium from a naming strategy, uh, it's, it's going to be a very simple one to remember. The cars will start with a C. The trucks will start with an X, of course, with the exception of the iconic Escalade. So uh, going forward, uh, this gives a very clear delineation of a naming strategy and uh, we think it's probably long overdue not to disparage the great heritage of the great names of the past of Cadillac but you know it's a new sense of direction for Cadillac. You have the V which are your high performance cars which I've driven which can compete with any European car and I know you came from BMW so uh, how do you feel about the M versus the V? I'm not going to comment on M versus V but what I would say is the V just brings just such pure exhilaration of just unbridled horsepower combined with driving dynamics that are really, at this point in time, unmatched, whether it's in the Nürburgring or anywhere else you want to drive it. The V just brings about this just pure, great horsepower and power along with just first-class driving dynamics. So uh, what's in the pipeline? Well, right now, as I said earlier, we have the XT5 out in the market, we have the CT6 out in the market, and for the next uh, year or so, we will be focusing on making sure that those cars get their absolute fair share and then some in the marketplace, and then we'll get ready for what is going to be an unparalleled product offensive for Cadillac, where we'll see a multitude of models in a fairly succinct time period, and the Escala concept give somewhat of a hint of the direction of what uh, the public can expect to see. Now, you oversee uh, North America, so uh, we know that GM has cut back a lot of dealerships, and are you kind of restructuring or working on your dealer network to create a different experience? You know, here in the United States, Cadillac has 925 franchise dealers, and we really uh, believe that the size of our dealer network, which is substantially larger than, say, BMW, Mercedes, or Audi, that we can use the size of our dealer network to our advantage. We are represented in so many areas where our competition could never even think of going uh, due to the fact we have an existing footprint there alongside some of our sister brands. So for us, what we really want to do is just keep working with our dealer body to be able to elevate the buying experience to new heights. And by all accounts, the current experience by J.D. Power and the like Cadillac is just more than competitive with any of its competitors. We'd like to see that brought up to really the pinnacle of customer service, uh, but we also want to be able to use the size and scope of our dealer network to our advantage. So um, we, you will see us really focus on using our dealer network to our advantage, certainly not to shrink it. And quickly, a technology question. I, a guy that grew up with a dad that had nothing but Cadillacs, they were always kind of ahead of the time for inside gimmicks, and now today with all the, the real incredible technology. Uh, what is Cadillac proud to say that uh, you're putting into these vehicles? Well, it's interesting you bring that up. Uh, with Cadillac right now, for example, with the CT6, we have uh, rear view mirror, camera mirror, which is just really a great piece of technology when you're in tight city spaces, for example. Two, we have Apple CarPlay that's available on uh, our Cadillacs today where a lot of our competition will be getting that either in the next few months or in the next couple years. Uh, for the CT6, for example, you can use with an SD card, you have a camera where you can record your driving, and it's really, we have some first-class technology in our cars that really just not only helps the driver, but also gives it a sense of fun.